Taurus, welcome to your reading for the month of August with me, Adrian Nelson, your psychic tarot reader. This one is for Taurus, dealing with a Taurus, sun, moon, rising, ascending, wherever you got Taurus in your chart, and whatever you brought you to this reading. I firmly believe that there's a message here for you, so be open to receive. All right, let's see what we've got for you, beautiful, beautiful Taurus. Let's see what we have for you, Taurus, with me, Adrian Nelson, your psychic tarot reader. I may have already said that. <laughs> But okay, let's see what we have for you. Let's see what we have for you. Okay, so the first card that's coming up for you, beautiful Taurus, is the Four of Swords. And so this is a massive confirmation for you. So starting off with a massive confirmation, you beautiful Taurus. And that confirmation is that you are ready for the next step and the next level. You want to really hear me with your heart, your mind, and your soul across all levels. You are ready. All right, you are ready for the new level, you're ready for the next level. Now, here's the thing about when we are in this sort of space. It is a space where our fears come out and they kind of like karate kick us left, right and center, you know, because all your past fears are sort of like reoccurring and all the times in the past when you tried something new and you tried something different. So whether this be in your career, you know, in whatever personal trajectory of your life, you know, love, whatever it may be. I can see there's a period for you that was kind of quite constant. And when I say constant, I don't necessarily mean in a very pleasant sort of way. In actual fact, you may have had to make quite a number of pleasantries, which it's almost like, like, like they didn't really acknowledge you as a person. You know, so you kind of had to dance to a lot of people's tune, most likely. Okay. The universe want to let you know, spirit want to let you know, beautiful Taurus, that 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 space, that period has now come to an end. You are at a space where you are ready to shine, you are ready to glow, you are ready to step into your power, you are ready to shine your light. And if you do not, then you're going to experience some friction over here. Okay? The past is the past, let's leave the past in the past. The past has brought you towards where you currently are. And your power is always lying in the present moment don't forget that okay your power always lies in the present moment okay the time for you is now so don't hold on to anything that's falling apart anything that's crumbling anything that's not working let that ship sail let it go do not hold on all right let's see what guidance we have for you from spirit also my beautiful beautiful taurus Tell me, my Taurus, where in the world are we connecting from? I am in Cape Town in South Africa. It's a beautiful, beautiful rainy day, which I love because I love the rain. It seems like you are pulling rabbits out of heads. You've got a four of ones. So another four. And four is all about balance. So four of swords is very much about the balance in the mind. The divine male part and four of wands is very much about the balance in the in the in the passion and the heart and the energy you know which is more a divine feminine energy so you are balanced in both ways you know so you may have had to be um you know uh, uh, maybe you know some sort of energy to the extremes you know be it either divine male or female but now you are encouraged to, to play again, my beautiful Taurus, to allow your heart to be hopeful for the future, to allow yourself to look forward to the future with excitement and with joy. You are reminded of the importance of play, to allow yourself to play, to allow yourself to be carefree again, to give yourself permission to, to really take your inner child on a break. Your inner child is kind of like super stressed here on like hyper alert. You know, and the one thing that you often get with a lot of people, they'll be like, oh, I'm an empath. But the thing about being an empath is that it is typically activated by trauma because you are you you kind of in a space, especially in childhood, that you have to be hyper vigilant all the time. So you're trying to prevent a problem all the time. And there is a space of fear. But now you are ready to let that space go. It has served you very, very well up until this point. But now it's time to let that go. All right, let's see what else we have for you, beautiful, beautiful Taurus. What else is it that you need to know? What else is it that you need to be aware of? What else will be to your benefit for your highest and greatest good? How you going? How do you feel about the rain? You've got the six of pentacles. Now, this is really, really awesome because now you've got the balance. And in tarot, six is the potential for fast, positive growth. 
okay progress that is really to your benefit and you might feel like things are a little bit out of your hands at the moment Taurus but essentially this is a really really good thing because you know when we typically try to you know to sort of like instigate something new we come from the past and what we know but the spirit is trying to instigate something new here for you your ancestors and your spirit guys they really by your side and so at this particular point in time taurus you are strongly encouraged to let your yes be yes and your no be no if something doesn't work for you then it doesn't work for you you gotta speak up you gotta say something all right um though the time to suffer in silence has passed for you all right so if you say something, see something, say something, do something that your yes be yes and your no be no. All right. Otherwise, you make a thief of yourself towards yourself. OK, let's clarify Taurus and see what we've got for you with this reading. Um, if any of you are interested in expanding your life in beautiful ways, check out my online courses. They are down below in the description. There's links for them. You might want to book yourself a beautiful theater healing session. I do them online. It will change your life forever. All right. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do so. I'd really appreciate it because it helps my channel to grow. And check out a lot of the other helpful videos that I've also uploaded for you. Okay. So that is really quite cool because look at this. With this Four of Swords, you've got the Ace of Pentacles. And it seems like you're trying to talk yourself out of something good here. You know, like, I don't want to rock the boat, I want to maintain the peace. But this is the thing that I want to remind you of, Taurus, that when the price that you pay to maintain the peace is yourself, then you are just creating a whole lot of unpleasantries for yourself going forward. Because then that is the message that you send out to the universe. You are energetically ready to receive a financial breakthrough. Of whichever nature, whether it's a lotto, whether it is inheritance, whether it is that you just suddenly get a whole lot of clients. I kind of see that you might have been doing something for a while. And, you know, maybe it wasn't going that great. It was going all right, but it wasn't exactly working, you know. And that could even be that you've been single for a while, you know, or you've been in a non-serving relationship for a while. And that doesn't just have to be romantic. It could be with your career. It could be with your home. It could be what maybe just keeping silent, you know speaking up and not being hurt and all this sort of thing. I see a positive turnaround here for you. So if you embrace going to that next level and you understand that it's time for you to go to that next level and you open yourself to that, money will pretty much flow in for you quite easily and it will stay. All right? So allowing yourself to progress to that next level, giving yourself permission to be successful, just in the mind, will really, really, you know, materialize quite beautifully in your life. In, in money, but also in physical comfort and convenience and happiness and joy. So if you want to go to the store and you want to buy stuff, this is what's being loaded for you, but you've got to give yourself permission to do that. And some people are not going to like you for that. All right. Let's see what we've got here for the four of wands. So for the four of wands, we've got the two of swords. Okay. So here's the thing, Taurus. You have paid your dues. You have done what you were supposed to do in order to get what you are deserving of getting. You have already done it. All right. So again, you are very strongly encouraged to not hold on to the past, to allow yourself to be carefree. Think of the last time in your life that you were truly happy. And if it takes you too long to think of that time, then it is time for you to be happy again. It's time to recreate, either if you can remember it or to create whatever happiness means to you, if you don't know what it is. You know, and it might take you a while, but I feel that you've been doing the whole roll of and die thing for just far too long. Okay? It's time for you to, to step into your life, to give yourself permission to shine. Okay? Let's see what we've got there for the Six of Pentacles, my beautiful, beautiful Taurus. And tell me in the comments how that resonates with you. Share with all of us. Okay? Share with all of us. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And you also don't have to take the hardest route. And for those of you that have been feeling lonely, that have been feeling support, unsupported, whose health hasn't been doing well, there's good news for you all around. Your improvement in health, making the beautiful connection of love, getting the support that you need. So if you've been feeling that you have to tick all the boxes yourself, that period is coming to an end. And it's coming to an end very fast in a very successful way. But it does start with giving yourself that permission 
to shine, to glow, to be happy, to success, to be successful. Okay, um, and if, if that resonates with you, then you know I want you to close your eyes. I will download it for you. If it resonates with you, place your hand on your heart, say yes to it, and I will download it for you in energy. And to receive the download, you have to type yes in the comments. Okay. There you go. All right. So there's there's a lot of beautiful prosperity that is possible here for you going forward, my beautiful beautiful Taurus, but. In some ways, you're still standing in, in your own way. And I feel that you are considering or have been considering too many people and not yourself. Okay? So if there's an opportunity here for to glow and shine and, you know, something great comes your way, you come up with a great idea, you want to follow that. You want to make that recommendation. You want to set that out there. Hey, how about we do this? How about we do that? The worst that people can do is say no. But they may say yes, and it might turn out to be more than you ever anticipated. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So Taurus, I hope that August is the most beautiful month for you. Thank you for your time, energy, love, and light. And I look forward to connecting with you on the next video.